Today, the top leadership of the Indianapolis Housing Agency had no time for questions. Our Call 6 team wanted to know about the pending federal audit set to begin next Tuesday and a spike in crime at public housing sites. Call 6 Chief Investigator Rafael Sanchez joins us now with new details at 6. Erica, good evening. I want to talk about some of the paperwork because, you know, I get it. There are times we get information that people in power don't want us to talk about. This has to do with a, how a multi-million dollar taxpayer-funded agency is operating and the public safety of more than 22,000 people. Last night on the News at 11, I laid out, as you can see on the anchor desk, a small fraction of the internal reports showing an increase in crime at IHA sites involving vandalism, drugs, and theft. That was just some of the paper. Despite implementing a summer anti-crime plan, the crime numbers increased at IHA, and the agency has yet to lay out what happens next. We also learned that these crime reports are not sent to the people accountable to take or demand action, like the executive director, Jennifer Green, or the board chair of commissioners, or the commissioners appointed by the mayor and the city county council. Now today I didn't get too far as I set out to ask the leadership about crime, those crime reports you saw on the anchor desk, and the pending federal audits. It's a public meeting. We can't talk to you about the upcoming audits. Are you ready for those audits? As she said, she doesn't have time to speak about it. It's a public meeting, Mr. Barty. You're appointed by the mayor. Can you talk to us about it? Are you prepared for the audits? Not at this moment. We appreciate it, though. You have prepared for the audits or to talk to me? Neither. Okay. Why we won't be making so? any comments at this time. Thank you. Why is that? I mean, it's a public meeting. We can't ask you about what you do, what, how you run the organization. Why is, I mean, should I call the mayor? Yes. You want me to call the mayor, Mr. Sir? So I reached out to the 25th floor, the mayor's office here in Indianapolis. The mayor's office sent us a statement in part it reads that it's focused on identifying new leadership to oversee the organization by the end of this year. We do hope that interim director Jennifer Green and board chair Chris Barney, not appointed by the current mayor, will take the time after future public meetings to discuss the agency's management and public safety. I'm Rafael Sanchez. Erica, now back to you.